What's going on? It's Kev Obato, and I'm back with another Botticera video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can install itch.io. <laughs> you got that itch. <laughs> if you've been watching long enough, then you know where that's from. But anyways, moving on. You know me. Let's not waste any more time, and let me get in and show you how you can install itch.io on your Botticera machine. Now, if you've watched any of my videos, then you know the first step is gonna be to install the BUA. So let's go ahead and install the BUA now. If you already have the BUA, then the timestamps will be in the description below. You can skip past this point and get right into installing itch.io. For now, anyone who doesn't have the BUA, go ahead and press F1 to get into your file manager. And then you're gonna to go to applications. Once you're in applications, you're gonna look for X term and you're gonna go ahead and double click that. Now, while you're in X term, you're gonna go ahead and type what you see on the screen now. I'll leave it up so you can type it in. You might need to pause the video. Once you type what you've seen on the screen and you press enter, it'll go ahead and start to install the BUA. So you can go ahead and sit here and stare at the screen and wait. All right, now the BUA is done installing. You can go ahead and type exit and press enter and that'll take you out of the terminal. And then you can go ahead and go up to file and close window. And that will bring you back to your Botticera main screen. All right, now that we all have the BUA, let's go ahead and go into the BUA. From there, you're gonna go down to game utilities and you're gonna scroll down to itch.io. That's gonna go ahead and do its thing and install itch.io. It's gonna take a few seconds, so just let it do its thing. Once you're done installing itch.io, oh boy, saying itch over and over again is, ugh, it's making my ears itch. <laughs> Anyways, you can go ahead and click return and we will go ahead and exit the BUA. You now have itch.io, all you've gotta do is do an update games list and you'll see it in your ports here. You can go ahead and open it. Once you open it for the first time, it's going to ask you to sign in. So you go ahead and sign in. All right, this is future editor Kev here. Glad I spotted this. Now, one thing I noticed is when you open itch, it stays open for whatever reason. So if I go back and I try to open this again, it's already open in the background, even though, boom, it opens for a second. But for whatever reason, Botticera is like, nope, something didn't happen right. Even though it did and it's fine, it's just back here in the background. So all you need to do to fix this is go into preferences, and then you're going to uncheck this box. It says keep app in tray when closing window. We're gonna uncheck that. As long as we uncheck that, when we close that, I should be able to open it back up. Boom, and it opens just fine. You can click my name and boom, I'm in the game. And then I can close out of it. And I can go back into it. Let's make sure everything's working correctly. Yep, perfect. One of the first things you're gonna wanna do after you sign in is, in my opinion anyways, is go down here to preferences, go to manage install locations, and you can click add a location. Now, if you don't wanna add a location, that's fine. You just need to at least make a note of this directory here, so this pathway, user data, system, add-ons, itch.io, because that's where all your games are gonna be stored at, and sometimes certain games aren't going to run properly, but you can go to this directory here and you can move those files you know, to the proper folder, be it the Windows folder or the ports folder. If you have a Linux game that doesn't wanna run through itch, you can go grab the files, throw it in ports. Same thing with Windows games. If you have Windows games that aren't working in itch, you can go grab the files, toss them in ROM's Windows folder and play them that way and or be able to troubleshoot, change your Wine or Proton options and things like that. But that's enough blabbering and enough yapping. Let's go ahead and explore. Now, what we'll do is we'll just go look for free games. How do I? use this. The crazy thing is I never even knew what itch.io was. I just had this viewer here or this member of my discord. I'll leave it in the screen now. I had this member of my discord ask if I could get it on here. And then I started to realize I looked back at one of my older videos and sure enough, 
Botticera Pro back in the day had already had it. So it's only right that we go ahead and get it in here. And also, once I found out that, here we go, free games. Once I found out that there's free games on here, you know, it's a, it's a free for all. You can go in here and you can search through this stuff and find something that you want to play. Here we'll go, we'll add this. This is a game I don't have yet. So we can click install. It's going to automatically install it in here. Like I said, if you added a location, then you'll be able to choose it here. For me, I'll leave it here. And then this lets you choose Windows or Linux. And we'll let it install. I'll fast forward it so that you don't have to wait. All right, my game's done. Let's go ahead and launch it. Now, if you get a screen like this, you see you've got a .sh and you've got a .exe. This is Windows. This is Linux. So let's launch this. And as you can see, whoa, I think this is a part of the game. Maybe. Oh, okay, yeah, this is just a part of the game. I'm not even gonna go through all this. I don't, I don't feel like going through all that. It is working just fine. What I'll do is I'll go in and I will install a few more games so that you can see. And what we'll also do is try a Windows game. So we'll try a Windows game here now. I haven't tried any Windows games myself personally. So let's go ahead and try one now. We'll give it the old install. Looks like it has some form of built-in wine. So let's see, is that enough to get this game running? Boom, look at that. Even got a Windows game running right through um, itch.io in Botticera Linux. So that's nice, it's got its own little wine manager or whatever and oh wow, look at, I got horrible frame rate. Anyways, this is a potato computer, so don't blame the computer. Let's just go in and add some more. Another cool feature is you can go and filter by Linux, so that's awesome. And then I think we can even filter for free. Yep, free Linux. Now we are in the game, we've got all, what is this? What in the what? I've got to check this Linux install. This is really cool. This is like a, this is like Steam, but simple with simple games and a simple one, two, three click. There you go. You're in the game. Let's see. Oh, every game that I'm trying to launch just works. It's so nice. What the what? Holy bananas. New soup. I don't want to create any soup. I don't want to create any soup. This is an online game. What on the world? What is this? This is amazing. All right. As you can see, every game I've tried so far works. What the hell is this? It says you can play in the browser too. Let's see what this is about. I guess it didn't work, huh? I found one that didn't work. Very quickly, I can show you how to uninstall games. Maybe if they're not working or you just don't like them. You can go to your library. You can click on the game. You can go into settings, manage, uninstall now. And that's how you uninstall them. Now it's not installed. If I go back to library, boom, it's gone. This was just a quick video showing you how to add itch.io to your Botticera machine and it works fully. Anyways, that's gonna wrap up today's video. If you like what you saw, give me a like. If you really like what you saw, subscribe, come on. All right, I'll catch you in the next video. You got that itch. <laughs> you got that itch. Ah!